Good morning. Today we're going to take a trip down memory lane. Memories of the little white church across the road. I've attended to Plain Church of Christ all my life. I was born in 1936, so that has been a few years to collect some memories. First thing you saw coming down the road was the bell tower, the steeple, and the front entrance, wide concrete steps. A favorite with the kids, the entrance to the foyer that was, was there. Uh, the foyer might hold 10 people if they were friendly. Oh, there, there was a lot going on in that little room. A door to the right opened into the senior high room. Uh, and there was a double set of doors that opened into the foyer, into the sanctuary and uh, for overflow. Uh, some of the favorite pictures of the building show an outside entrance. Uh, that was replaced with an inside entrance later, a door on the left uh, this foyer uh, led to the basement. The stairs uh, led to the uh, north two-thirds or so of the building, often divided up for classrooms. The east part, there was a kitchen. One thing that hasn't changed with the De Plain, uh ladies and sometimes some of the men provided the best food anywhere. On the southwest corner of the basement uh, was the furnace room, a coal room. Later, uh, when the furnace was converted to uh, fuel oil, classrooms were added. Uh, Walter Kaufman used to come down and tend the furnace for years. Now back up in the foyer, you notice there was a rope hanging down to ring the bell. They loved the bell. Same bell that it's in the front yard of the new church. Straight ahead were double doors that led to the sanctuary. There was seating for about 120 or so, and also there was a base, a balcony in the back of the room. Windows were on both sides, and of course, that was our air conditioning in the summer. You might uh, find a handheld fan in the songbook rack. These were put to good use in the hot summer days. The people sitting in the pews were dressed in their finest. The men in their dress suits and ties, and, and also the boys and uh, were mostly dressed in suits. They might have been mended here and there, but done with finest stitches you'll ever see. And the ladies, all dressed in their finest dresses, often hats and gloves, many handmade. Some might have been made from cloth, from chicken feed sacks. Most of the ladies, uh, a lot of the ladies raised chickens and they would buy uh, chicken feed that came in uh, printed uh, sacks and they would uh, save them up and make uh, uh, garments for themselves or their kids or uh, curtains for the windows, all sewn with perfection. They all thought they were, uh, wear, should wear their best for the Lord. The ceiling was done in metal squares, uh, pressed steel. As a kid, I remember trying to count them on days when things got a little dry. Pews were added, uh, not padded, and they got a little hard sometimes. A stage run across the, the full width of the front of the... Uh, church, uh, uh, the pulpit in the center, and the piano was sometimes on the right, sometimes on the left. My mother, uh, Gladys Hall, played the piano for around 30 years. 
In my earlier days, the baptistry was under the floor behind the pulpit. They had to take out a panel in the floor and they got to a galvanized stock tank. I don't remember this, but my brother, 11 years older, was taken down to the river and baptized. Apparently, they did that sometimes in the summer. Later, there was some remodeling done, and the baptistry was uh, installed in the back wall, also in the classroom. And uh, there was an enclosed stairway that went down to the back of the kitchen and uh, a utility room. Even in our leadership, here we should provide for our kids. I have some pictures of some of the youth in classes. There was a fair sized junior high group. Senior high th that I was in was uh, small, there were only two of us. Then a man, uh, family moved into St. John's and then there was a couple more came there and then Gary Hawes joined us later. Many things have changed over the 150 years. There's many great things that have come about because of this church. Many great preachers and teachers have given guidance from God's word. The building is not the church, it's the people. The first people that came here were from Rochester, New York. They came in on horseback. They had a dream. As it turned out, the dream didn't come about, but other dreams did. These first settlers knew they needed the Lord. They built houses, uh, stores, a mill, a foundry, a gunsmith. They met in the first building, first home that w was finished. They met as a, a church gathering. Many of these uh, were the beginning of the Duplain Church of Christ. Soon they needed a larger place to meet. So they met at the Rowell School, uh, which was a couple miles from here. Then they outgrew that, and there was uh, plans to build a, a church here in the colony. Just think what these, the Lord led these people through. There was a civil war, the Spanish-American War, World War I, the 1918 flu, the Great Depression, and then the World War II. And the list goes on. We think we have had a rough time, and we have. The Lord led our forefathers and he will lead us if we'll let him. Many of these people had very little money, but they had a common bond helping to support each other. They helped each other in, in, at harvest. The women got together and helped with meals. They built barns, uh, put on roofs. They depended on each other. We could all take lessons from our roots. Thank you. These pictures are of the old church uh, not too long before uh, the move. Um, it shows the steeple uh, being gone, the bell tower, uh, where there was a structural problem in the front, and that took that weight off the front. That was just uh, added on, and... Uh, this picture is of the Woodards, and uh, here's him at the at the pulpit, and uh, I believe this is probably uh, communion time, possibly. Uh, the elders sitting in the chairs behind. Um, I'm not just sure uh, what this picture is. It just shows the front of the church and uh, the pianist and. Uh, 
the communion table. And this is a classroom underneath the stairway that came to the basement. And uh, this, another classroom that was added back in the area around the furnace uh, after that was converted to uh, fuel oil. And uh, these are the 25th anniversary of the Fishers. And this is uh, the Ash family. And this is my grandparents. Uh, and uh, this also the pictures of the, shows the front of the church as it was when I first remember it. 